Back with more of our team coverage, our special coverage of the deadly train disaster in Hoboken. First responders from across the region rushed in to help. We want to give you a sense of their urgent yet calm professionalism. CBS 2's Tony Aiello live in our newsroom with that. Tony. Maurice, across our region, so-called mutual aid agreements ensure when disaster strikes, any given municipality will have the help it needs from its neighbors. This morning in Hoboken, first responders from neighboring Jersey City moved immediately to help. And we have scanner audio starting with a fire official in Jersey City warning crews about the chaotic scene. Stay out of the immediate area. We need a clear road for the ambulance to come take victims out. Give me a situation report. What do you need? Extrication, or do you need people to assist with carrying? Now you want concrete. I have heavy structural damage. I have people trapped on the train. We're going to need support. Have rescue squad four come with shore equipment. Major, major casualty. I have walking wounded throughout the streets outside. You heard reference to shoring operations. Those are crews trained to put up temporary supports after there's been a collapse, as there was with the train shed over the tracks leading to the station. And we want to show you this picture taken in 2015. That is the bumper block at the end of the track. It's designed to stop a train from jumping the track. Trains usually stop several feet before making contact with the bumper block. It obviously didn't stop the train in this case. The engineer was sitting in the front car, a so-called cab car, with a control compartment and seats for 109 passengers from that control car, he can send a signal back to the locomotive that was pushing the train into the station. A source tells me the engineer had more than 10 years on the job. As I said, the locomotive was at the back of the train. This cab car was made by a French company, Alstom. It went into service about 12 years ago. 85 feet long, it weighs 100,000 pounds and cost a million dollars. Crash investigators will look at several possibilities mechanical malfunction, humor, human error, even intentional act or sabotage. Live in the newsroom, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Okay.